it's 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 been a while since uh i've talked with everyone here uh the last time we were together it was uh before uh, it was at wilkesboro drag strip where this old girl right here got tore up uh she's she's still a little sick and i'm working on getting it back together also it's been a been a whirlwind of events uh here at the at the tansy compound um lots of different cars have come through here uh, different projects built uh this this back half of the building that we're in right now um so the corvette is nearing the end of its sit and still cycle and I've actually got a motor together for it, a transmission coming out of the shop, and you guys will see it back out here this next summer. So uh, looking forward to everybody, or seeing everybody out at the drag strip and, and getting back with everybody. Other things have been going on. Uh, we uh, participated in a movie. It was called Bad Girls, uh, done by a local uh, film producer here in the Columbia area uh, by the name of Christopher Bickle, um, if anybody hasn't heard of him or seen the movie. Uh, awesome uh, production on a very, very small budget. Uh, for the price of a used car, Chris put this movie together. Uh, he allowed me to be a very big part of it with him. So we actually had five cars in the movie. Um, my 60 Cadillac, our 60 Cadillac, uh, was the main character that the girls uh, stole and drove around. The, the two de detectives that chased the, the girls in the movie used a 67 Camaro that I have. Uh, so that Camaro was a part of it. They wreck a white 62 Nova SS convertible in the beginning. That is uh, Shauna's stepdad's car. That's on the down low. He doesn't know it was in the movie. So I don't think he'll ever watch it anyway. Then her Lincoln, Shauna's Lincoln, a 2003 Lincoln, is in the movie towards the end. They actually ditch the Cadillac and they steal a car out of a Walmart parking lot or, or something like that. And it winds up being the, the Lincoln in the end. And then the last car to be seen in it is, is this thing once again, the rock star that they're going to see at the end. This is his daily driver, and uh, he's pulling in from the grocery store uh, when you see the Corvette in the movie. But that movie was a, was a blast. Uh, a bunch of weekends were spent on that. I was able to help with, with lighting to uh, the, the shooting and blood spray scenes. Uh, to driving the cars. Um, I actually get shot in the head and wreck uh, Sean a 68 El Camino in the movie. So uh, that was one car I forgot to include. So the, the 68 El Camino. And then of course do the stunt driving and, and play around with all that. So it's very neat to see the process um, and the time it takes to uh, shoot a movie. Some of these scenes in the movie are 10, 30 seconds. It might have taken us all day to get the shots by all the different camera angles and, and the things going on. Um, Chris spent some time in the back of my Suburban, so all the, the shots you see of the vehicles driving down the road, um, it's actually, they're on a trailer that's being pulled by me in the Suburban, and then Chris was shooting uh, from the back of the Suburban or over the hood uh, from the trailer into the car. So an awesome movie to see. I'm looking forward to his next one. Uh, he's actually talking about doing something again this summer. Uh, so we have a couple other vehicles that we'll have in there. And, uh, you know, hopefully he lets me be just as big a part of this up and coming movie that I was in the last one. So very, very neat to be a part of that. Um, other things happening here at the house. I don't know how many people have seen me around, but we went out to the Starbird car shows uh, here recently. I want to try and get... Some more different vehicles out there. If anybody's been to the Starbird uh, Rod and Custom Show, you'll you'll know that it's mild customs to uh, wild. Um, that car show is is something to be seen by all. It's got demolition derbies, flame throwing contest. There was belly dancers there this last year. Um, uh, you're talking model building contest, pedal car contest, downhill racing, uh, matchbox racing. Um, rat rods to full-blown show cars, so it's all inside. It is every every February, um, so it is heated. It is actually nice to go to. I've been there several times already, and I can't wait to get back there and try it again. So other things that have happened, Shauna and I have gotten married. 
So there'll be a, a, a different video out there online uh, with Shauna kind of going over our trip. So we jumped in the Cadillac, which is pretty heavily modified from stock. It's a uh, LS motor, so it has an Escalade uh, six liter in it. Um, it's got a cam converter, 4L60 trans, 8.8 rear, four wheel disc brakes. So it's set up to, to drive. So we took that thing across the country, put about 6,000 miles on it, and uh, we, we started off and took 40 and kind of went all the way to the Pacific Ocean and come back. So a few of the highlights uh, in between there were a wigwam motel. We stayed a night there. That's, that's definitely an adventure that everybody has to take part in. We uh, visited the Petrified Forest. It's about 30 miles long, and, and we, did, we drove through all of that and, and did all sorts of different activities in there. We stopped by Gene Winfield's uh, on the way through, and Gene was out having coffee that morning, so he invited us in and took us through his house, uh, showed us everything in, inside that he's collected and has uh, over the years, and also give us a tour of the shop. Uh, from jeans we're sitting around drinking coffee and he's like are you guys going to the show and i was like uh what show are you talking about gene and he said the grand national roaster show is going on i just asked him how far away it was he said it's about two hours away i simply replied to him we'll see you there so we uh finished hanging out with gene we drove into topanga california and and through los angeles and had tie on the beach and uh, got a picture of the Cadillac overlooking the Pacific Ocean, and uh, we headed to the Grand National Roadster Show uh, for the next couple days, and that was a very good time. Uh, if, if you haven't been out there, definitely make plans to go see that once. There was nine buildings of over-the-top cars. Uh, Saturday, there was probably 700 to 1,000 cars that drove in uh, from, from people off the streets. Uh, awesome time. Lots of good people there. Uh, made some new friends, uh, and of course, had to had to head back home. So we uh, we took ten back home to give us some different scenery, and we've seen everything from the Segura cactuses to somewhere along the way we we went through Roswell, and uh, the Cadillac no more no longer had white walls on it. So I don't know what happened there, but the Cadillac sitting on four black walls now, and definitely needs some help. So. Other than that, we are back home now. Uh, I got a new shop going up out back to, to help organize and, and get things clutter free. If anybody's been to my shop, you know there's a lot going on all the time. So I, uh, I definitely want to get to where I can function and make some progress fairly well and then get a few uh, more of these car projects out on the road. So I am working on a, a few things for some friends. I have a a Dale house car sitting outside. If anybody's ever heard of one of those, look them up online. Very unique vehicles. I got the real deal sitting in the driveway that I'm getting going for a friend. And then I have a uh, kind of a, a rat rod four wheel drive pickup that I'm putting together for a, a friend of mine. Well, I shouldn't say putting it together. I'm getting the drivetrain together and wiring it so it can fire up and head to run to the sun this year. So that's about all I have going on for now. If Anybody wants to find out more, tune in the next time. We'll be at uh, Rides to the Market here in Columbia, South Carolina. Don't miss it. See you then.